Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, presented by Draco Breach. Last time, we spent a bunch of rupees to increase the number of bombs and arrows that we can carry, as well as purchase the Zora Flippers and climb Death Mountain. This time, we are heading into the Tower of Hera, and I definitely wanted a single episode dedicated to this place because, not because it's hard, not because it is long, in fact it's a very short dungeon, but because of the boss. And we'll see what I mean by that once I actually get up there. Now since Up is obviously progressing towards the top of the tower, let's head down first. Kind of the interesting thing, you can literally just grab that without even having to worry about the mini Maldrum. So, yeah, I mean, that room is literally just walk in, throw your boomerang, walk out. But, um, yeah, we needed that key to continue. And, Link, it is I, Sarasala, the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. And yeah, that's actually some good advice. Okay, mini Maldrum, I do not want to deal with you. But, oh my god, oh wait, I forget that I have the boomerang equipped. Anyway, right here we have the dungeon map. Of course it's showing up on the sidebar, so no need to pull it up unless I need to for some reason. In here, unfortunately, tiles, and you cannot use the same trick from previously to just stand in the doorway because, well, it stares and it pushes you out automatically. So you actually have to run around and wait for everything to be done. Literally just because you you need the tiles to lift up for this. I'm actually going to equip the mirror because Sarasala gave us some pretty good advice and I want to take advantage of it. I really don't know why I did that. I typically don't hit that switch until I've defeated the mini Maldrums, but okay. In here, these reds, I haven't shown what they do. You swing at them, they jump back, and they throw a bow. This room actually kind of gives you a hint of what to do, besides these torches not being lit. There's, uh, <clears throat> there's magic jars to pick up. So, you go through, and you light all the torches. Now the, and you get the big key. Now the pot on the left has a small magic jar. The pot here has a big one. And I will actually show this off. So if you use the magic mirror, you go back to the entrance of the dungeon. It does not leave any sparklies for you. So unfortunately, you are stuck having to travel back to where you were if you need to return there. But I don't. I'm going up now, because we are completely done on the bottom two floors. These, I do not remember their names, they come in two varieties. Uh, the blue ones here require three hits or good aim to get them down there. And you do need to defeat them, and the pots only give you one bomb, so take that as you may. And here, you're introduced to these switches, which you can take advantage of... Hello. Why didn't you turn around, Link? To do things like that. I believe the switch state is... Hmm, something in my throat. I believe the switch state is in, in the correct position. I've sometimes gotten the wrong switch state going up these stairs. Um, nope. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can get up here. Come on. Okay, 
So yeah, you can use the star to the star switches to switch up where they are. I believe I want it this way. And some more mini muldrums. You can defeat them by just throwing a pot at them or hitting them two times. Well, pots are faster, typically. This dungeon, I can get damaged a lot pretty easily. Um, I don't think there are any more hearts, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to get lucky and get them to drop off of an enemy. Miss, of course. Anyway, right here, we get the compass and another telepathic pad. Interesting. Link, it is I, Sarasala, the Elder. An orb known as the Moon Pearl is in this tower. Whoever holds the Moon Pearl is protected so that his form will not change in the Dark World. You must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the Moon Pearl. That's kind of interesting. That's the third time we've heard about it. And if we go up here, hmm. Well, we can't really get that. We can't really get across the gap. There is a speedrunner's trick to getting across that gap. I have stated that before. I am not going to attempt it because I... Number one, I don't think it actually works on the North American version. And number two, I don't actually know how to do it. It involves the Pegasus boots, but that's about all I can tell you. We want to step on that switch. Ah, there's the annoying one. The red one here takes six hits from your current sword. Or get extremely lucky, and nope, I'm not gonna get lucky, am I? Because unfortunately, they are faster. Falling down that hole would actually not have hurt me at all. You took two hearts? I've never been hit by that guy before. Um. Well, that's unfortunate. Use the fairy, but it shouldn't be a problem. Of course, I knock him down immediately after. Anyway, we need to fall down this particular hole. Okay. Well, from the top, we want to fall down that hole Top. And we get the Moon Pearl to protect the hero from the changing effects of the Golden Power. So yeah, that is the treasure of the uh, Tower of Hera. And if we look in our menu, you'll see that it's permanently equipped. There's no need to select it. <clears throat> it is always on. And you'll notice... Oh, why did I do This is the stairs to the boss room. It's barely been any time since I started this dungeon and we're already there. Now, okay, that is a cracked wall, but you can't actually bomb it. So, yeah. Weird that they have that, but it's, the, it's a thing. This boss, you'll notice the arena. There is a hole in the floor and the boss can very easily knock you into it. In fact, you can knock yourself into it. This boss is the entire reason I wanted this episode dedicated to this boss, because I don't know how, how much time I'll actually have after it. So I did not want to potentially... Uh, spend more time than intended. Okay, well, survive that. The general idea is to try to kind of dodge around, I got lucky there, dodge around it, try to get a spin attack off. This fight could take you one attempt up here, it could take you three, like on my practice file. Um, it could take you significantly more. I am getting pretty lucky, but he gets faster every time you hit his tail. 
and because of his speed, he can't... Hello? He can easily knock you... Okay. Knock you all over the... Okay, serious, serious, seriously? Come on. Come on, buddy. <sighs> Predictable. It's almost certain that unless you... I mean... <laughs> if you get... If you get... Lucky... It, there, there is some luck involved in this boss fight. If you get lucky, you can do this in one rep. Do not knock me in the center. This one takes you all the way down uh, to the fifth floor. And considering that this is the seventh... No. Eighth? This is the eighth floor? So yeah, you don't want to get knocked down that middle one if you can avoid it. If, if you're going to get knocked down at all, get knocked down the sides. Okay, now that the heart is here, I am actually going to show what going down the center is for because once the boss is destroyed, that heart should remain. Um, but yeah, you get knocked down that center one, you go down... Oh, from the 7th to the 4th floor. You go down all the way to where the Moon Pearl is. It's possibly like a reminder um, to players just in case they need it to get the uh, treasure chest for the, du the dungeon item. But, you know, that's, that's the... I thought you were supposed to stay dead. Maybe it's after I collect the heart. Well, I'm going to cut here. Okay, that was fast. Very next attempt. I, I could have sworn that he stayed dead once you killed him, but maybe it's after you collect the heart and the, after the pendant falls. Anyway... You won the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you have collected all three pendants. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. And yeah, that's a rather nice thing to see, is that we are now ready for the Master Sword. But, you know, there's always something to do between. And there might be something to do between now and getting the Master Sword. But we'll find out next time. For the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.